Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another video tutorial. Uh, these are two Apple Airport Extremes. And in my previous video, which I will throw a card on the side there if you want to check out the other videos related to these guys, including from my review channel, Tech Gooch. Um, but this is, these both are Airport Extremes, the new AC version, obviously. And this one I already just did a review on how to set up the router by itself, which I have hardwired to my router and, of course, power, and that is it. Over here, I have one that I just have to power. It's reset, it's no settings within it at all, and it's just connected to power. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a Wi-Fi extension. Basically, it's a Wi-Fi repeater, technically. So this guy has all, is your main router, but maybe you have a, a room in, in your home that you're not getting a good signal at all. You can place this guy in between where the router is, where there's still a good strong signal, but where it'll extend in the direction where you need a stronger signal. So in my house, I actually have three of these guys set up as triangulation of points, I guess, and I don't have a spot in my house that's a dead zone. So that was the point of my in, in this setup, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here with just the two, wirelessly. Um, it all goes through the app and I'm gonna do it on the phone, but it's gonna be the same process on the iPad. On your computer, when you actually, if you have a Mac, open up the airport utility, you can do everything through the airport utility itself, uh, or again, through the Wi-Fi settings, which I'll show you here. So here we go, I'm gonna come over to you with the app again. Okay, so here we are, we have the iPhone. I'm gonna get into the settings app here, go to my uh, Wi-Fi, which right now we're connected to Brian's Wi-Fi network. But down here again, we're gonna see another Airport Extreme, uh, which is a blank guy. I'm gonna hit on that, and it's gonna go through the settings and setup options so we can actually get this to extend my current network. So when it goes through, it's gonna ask me, and usually it'll come up right away, I want, do you want to extend this network? Because it found my airport, because I'm obviously connected to my phone, but it also is scanning to see what else is out there. And we're going to go ahead and just keep it called Brian's Airport Extreme. Hit next. We're going to extend it. I'm going to put in my password real quick, which was Geek Smart. Hit OK. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll send diagnostics and usage. And while it sent, it sent all the information that I wanted to do, over to the actual router and now the router is restarting uh, saving all the information and getting rebooted to connect and of course now it's looking for it to see if everything took properly and down here right now you can see it's rebooting because it is solid orange or oop, there we go solid amber uh, eventually it will be green like this little dot here is in a moment it'll probably start flashing amber before it goes green but once it does that means the settings actually took, it's obviously connected to the internet and it is routing everything properly. So right now it's blinking. And of course still on the app, it's telling me it's just waiting to, to hear word from it. So as we slowly wait, and uh, I apologize if this is boring, but I wanna make sure that I get, I don't wanna cut in and out. I wanna keep this as solid as possible. So still restarting, still looking. And now it's green, it says it is set up complete. I'll hit done and done. Now, of course, if I open up the airport utility, which is an app you can download for your iPad and your iPhone, but it's built into your Mac, you'll see I have my internet connection. It goes to my main router and the second router is extending the main router, right? And of course, when I did the setup of this guy, I could have named it something else. Uh, it's connected to that, but I can, you know, it has all the information here for everything. It has all its connections and everything. But when you do the setup, you can call this, like how in my house, I have my main router, I have my living room, I have my bedroom. That's why I name them where they're placed so that if I look in the app, I can see where they're placed. In this case, I just didn't, I just hit next. So we have Airport Extreme, Air Explorer Extreme 2. I can tell this is the main one because it's the one that's directly connected to the network. So, but that's how that works. So that is the setup of a multi-router network using the Apple Airport Extremes. Like I said before, same setup if you were using the Airport Extreme and Airport Express or two Expresses or a time capsule in there as well. Exact same setup because they, they, they use the same integration and the same software essentially, just different hardware, right? Um, but that's basically it. I mean, it's very simple in how it works and it works very, very well. And uh, like I said, I love my, my Apple routers and uh, I'll definitely probably be in line when they actually bring up an upgraded version with maybe bigger antennas and stuff like that. And maybe I won't need as many, but I have yet to find a router that does my house with just one. I have to use multiple to get the, uh, you know, be able to reach in all sides of the house. So 
That said, question comments below, subscribe above, check us out over at getgeeksmart.com. That way you can actually find out any more information if there is anything else there, but also a way to get in contact with me if you have any suggestions for future tutorials and videos. I definitely want to hear suggestions. If you want me to cover something that you know I've already covered maybe more in depth, let me know. I'll definitely do another video if I can. Uh, you can also make donations and support the show through that channel as well, as well as through YouTube. And uh, But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like I said, and head us, check us over at Tech Gooch, which is another YouTube channel, and you can go to thetechgooch.com to find us there. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.